Over to Erica and Chris, guys. Jeff, thanks. Now we want to talk a little bit more weather. We know what we're talking about today. We know what people in the Northeast are talking about today. We know what they'll be talking about tomorrow. <laughs> so Castro is here with another check of the bad weather that's moving into this region at least. Good morning, you guys. Good morning, everyone at home. Of course, water, water everywhere and not a drop to drink, but there are some areas of sunshine. As we look at the national picture, high pressure for much of the country. Uh, we've mentioned that there is some severe weather all along the eastern seaboard, and the Pacific Northwest has, ex has been experiencing a parade of storms. Today is no different. The moisture continues to move onshore, bringing a quarter of an inch to an inch of rain to places like Portland, Seattle, Medford, and Redding. In the next 24 hours, the rain dissipates and then unfortunately comes back again. But take a look at the southern plains. Look at this sunshine. 68 in Dallas, 73 in Midland. This is after the storm moved through here. So if, if this is an example of what's to come after the storms leave here, optimism. It's the only way to live. That's a look at the weather across the nation. Now let's see what's happening right outside your window. Her way to book. Thanks so much. That's your latest weather. Now here's Erica. Mari, thanks. Earlier this week, it was the two-month anniversary of the tragedy in Tucson, and that event back in the headlines again after Jared Lee Loeffner pleaded not guilty Wednesday to 49 charges stemming from that shooting rampage in Tucson back in January. Six people were killed, 13 more wounded, including Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords. CBS News correspondent John Blackstone has more. Half past the hour. Great. Country, it is not as gray as it is here in the Northeast. Thank goodness. Nice and there sunny in here this morning. Always, <laughs> always sunny in here. Go. No matter what it's doing outside. Just ahead, an important message for couples. You know how sometimes you might get a little bored? It's, not a great <laughs> it's an important message because we want yeah. your relationship to stand the test of time. We mm -hmm. used to always talk about the seven year itch. Uh -huh. Maybe it was just in your mind. Turned out now there's a little something called the three year glitch, mm. which may have a little something behind it. And in the interest of keeping you and your loved ones together, we're going to take a look at that this morning and how you can maybe overcome that glitch, turn things around, and become even stronger. Is it three years from the time you first met or the time you got married? Married. married. Think, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Which brings us to our next Jason Biggs, who's coming up. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to talk Mazel. and see if you know, we know the three year glitch is not affecting Jason and his wife. Before we get to all that, Speaking though, of romantic. Marisol Castro oh, standing by with a check of the Romantic weather, weather yeah. for your final check. Yeah. Take a look at the national picture with me. You can see a lot of high pressure miles. So that's what it looks like in here. Hey. <laughs> Expansive. How about that? Before we go, what, so what did you think about the whole three year glitch, seven year itch thing? You buy into it? I think parts of it make sense. I think you always do get to a point in your relationship where, so I've been married for like five and a half years. We've been together for yeah. 10 and a half. I think you always get to that point where you get, you know, comfortable with people and, you know, things are going to annoy you. But it does come down to having time. Once you have kids, yeah. Yeah. it's so important to make that time for each other because you do, you get hung up. You've got, you know, you're worried about money. You're worried about getting kids here and there. You work too much. You don't get enough yeah. sleep. All I think, I mean, I think it's almost it, when the first kid arrives. That's really it. Kind of throws everything. Whatever off. the glitch, or <laughs> just wait for the second kid. <laughs> well, yeah, I was gonna Touché. say wait for the second kid, and know <laughs> and know yourself. Know when you you know yeah. when you're treading on yeah. thin ice. When you're not, always say you're sorry. Don't go to bed angry. What's that, is that go to bed angry. No. What does that mean? But don't <laughs> stay up all night fighting either. No. It's not, it's, just resolve it's, it. Yeah. Just cool. resolve it. Don't go to bed angry. <laughs> Have Tell a great day. Tell someone that you love them today. Wonderful day. Your local cliche in the world. We love you.